And our top focus will be on right now. After the killing of top Hamas and Hezbollah leaders, Iran and the armed groups backed by it are now preparing for a coordinated action. Well, according to reports, the action is to deter Israel, but at the same time avert an all-out war in West Asia. This after Iranian officials met representatives of the Axis of Resistance, a loose alliance of the groups hostile to Israel. Given the situation, Israel has reached out to the U.S. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu spoke to U.S. President Joe Biden. And during the call, Biden reaffirmed Washington's commitment to Tel Aviv. Biden and Netanyahu discussed efforts to support Israel's defense from threats, including against ballistic missiles and drones. The U.S. has committed new military deployments to help defend Israel at the moment. Meanwhile, the Israeli Defense Forces IDF is on high alert. Its spokesperson Daniel Hagari in a press conference cited recent incidents to prove that Israel knows how to deal with threats in defense, also how to respond with a mighty attack. The statement came after Hezbollah launched a rocket attack on northern Israel. The attack was in response to an Israeli airstrike that killed four in South Lebanon. Earlier today, Hezbollah confirmed its action through a statement. Also, Hezbollah leader denied that the group had directly... As for the incident of Majdal Shams, the missile hit the town. We categorically denied our responsibility of this incident and we have the courage that if we bombed any place, we take responsibility, even if it was by mistake. As this rocket containing 53 kilograms of explosives hit the field, Hezbollah claimed they were not responsible for the attacks. This is a lie. The evidence is irrefutable. The rocket itself. Besides the attack on Beirut that killed Shukri, Israeli army has denied carrying out any other strike in West Asia, hinting at the killing of Ismail Hani, the chief of Hamas in Tehran. Iran and Hamas have blamed Netanyahu for his killing. We attacked on Tuesday night in Lebanon and eliminated Fuad Shukr in a precise air raid. I want to make one thing clear. There were no other Israeli airstrikes, missile strikes or drone strikes that night anywhere in the Middle East. I won't say anything else. Meanwhile, ahead of Hani's funeral and burial today, his body arrived in Doha from Iran. A public funeral was held in Iranian capital yesterday with Iran's supreme leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei leading prayers for him.